Hi, this is Scott Roberts with the Rock of Israel Ministries. Thank you, San Jacinto. You are a great church, and your love, support, and prayers have helped us through this year. Our ministry has been in 10, did I tell you, 10 major cities. West Palm Beach, Tampa, Pittsburgh, Washington, D.C. We were in Toronto, Canada, New York City, Arizona, Manhattan, and at the Rose Bowl on January 1st of this year. It has been exciting. Thousands, thousands of gospel tracts have gone into the hands of people across America and hundreds and hundreds of Jewish people have heard about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Well, let me just share a little testimony, one of the past, but it's exciting. We were in Washington, D.C. this year, but a couple of years ago, we were sharing the gospel and there was one of our volunteers. By the way, San Jacinto, we can use volunteers. If you want to be a part of our ministry this coming year, let us know. But this volunteer named Casey was sharing the gospel gave it to a, a Jewish man. He uh, was a college student, and he really got sassy with Casey because he was offended that uh, we were sharing the gospel with Jewish people. And he began to be mean to her and cuss at her, but eventually he grabbed the track right out of Casey's hand and took it home. Now, when he took it home, he just threw it on his bureau and interestingly enough, his Jewish mother came and picked up that gospel track and read it and gave her life to the Lord. Well, that started chaos in the home and the father and now the son were picking on the mother because she believed that Jesus was the Messiah. And they began to just bombard her almost daily, just rejecting her and scowling her for accepting Jesus as her Messiah. Long story short, in a year later, she had been baptized and in the church when she suddenly died. Now that caused great sadness, not only in the family, but the son who brought the gospel tract home began to feel guilty. And after the funeral, came home, went into his mother's bureau, grabbed her Bible, and in that Bible was the same gospel tract. He read the tract and accepted the Lord. Long story short, the father now began to pick on his son for accepting Jesus, and he brought in a rabbi trying to tell the son that Jesus wasn't the Messiah. And in the middle of that hour and a half conversation, the father stood up, told the rabbi to leave, looked at his son, and said these words, Today I saw my son turn from a boy into a man. I need to know this Jesus. That's exciting. From one gospel track. Now that is unusual, but it is the power of God being released. So we're just excited as the Rock of Israel prepares for 2014. I'm not sure I'll be meeting in a few weeks. So please pray with us as we plan for next year's outreaches. We again want to thank you for your love, your support, all that you're doing. And please continue to pray because Jesus is coming soon. God bless you, San Jacinto. Thank you so much for helping us reach the Jewish people. Remember, there's 6.5 million Jewish people living in the United States. God bless. Bye-bye.